Bonjour et bienvenue chez French Sounds. Welcome to French Sounds. Today we're going to continue our work on the French R. In this video, we're going to pronounce the R before and after a consonant. The consonants we will use today are H, D, K, and G. Let's review quickly how to pronounce a French R. The tip of the tongue stays behind the lower teeth, maybe even pushing against the lower teeth, and there is a friction or gargling sound in the back of the throat, way in the back of the throat. <sighs> what happens with a T or a D is that you have the tip of the tongue that's up touching lightly against the back of the upper teeth. T, D. For people learning the proper French R, it can be difficult to quickly bring the tip of the tongue down from the T or D to the R if the R follows uh, one of those consonants. So here is a hint that can perhaps help you. If you keep the tip of the tongue down behind the teeth, and instead of touching with the tip of the tongue for the T or D, you touch with the blade of the tongue, in other words, the front part of the tongue. You get a sound that's very, very similar and it allows you to keep the tip of the tongue down so that you can have a good R. Let's try some words where the R follows the T. Répétez après moi, s'il vous plaît. Quatre. Quatre. Être. Être. Vitre, vitre, votre, votre. Notice that the tip of the tongue stays down. Votre. Good. So let's try some words where the R precedes the T. It'll be a similar situation, keeping the tip of the tongue behind the lower teeth and touching for the the T with the blade of the tongue. Let's try that. Par tout. Tout. Partir. Partir. Carte. Carte. Marte. Marte. Let's move on to a D. The D is like a T except the vocal cords are vibrating. It's a voiced consonant. And now we're going to do words with a DR sound. Répétez après moi s'il vous plaît. Dra. Dra. Edredon. Edredon. Cadre. Cadre. André. André. And now words where the R precedes the D. Same situation, keeping the tip down. Répétez s'il vous plaît. Léard. Léard. La horde. La horde. Ils perdent. Ils perdent. 
En sourdine. En sourdine. Now let's move on to the k and g sounds. They are back sounds. In other words, the back part of the tongue is raised and it touch the back part touches the soft palate and there is a release. K. G. Now what will happen is that you will do the release here. K. G. But you are already preparing down here the friction sound of your R. K. 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 So let's try some words with the K sound. The K. R. Répétez, s'il vous plaît. Cri. Cri. Cru. Cru. Cré. Cré. Croire. Croire. So the minute I release that K, the R is already vibrating for the, uh, the sound, for that sound. Maintenant, let's try the R in front of the K. It'll be a similar situation, except the R will be vibrating, and then it will continue to vibrate until the movement of the tongue touches the soft palate and then gets released. Répétez s'il vous plaît with the K. Hercule. Hercule. Orchestre. Orchestre. Parc. Parc. Arc-en-ciel. Arc-en-ciel. So let's move on to the g r combination. In a similar fashion, when the g is released, the r is immediately being pronounced. And of course, the tip of the tongue is always down. Répétez après moi, s'il vous plaît. Grand. Grand. Gris. 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 Grue. Grue. Gros. Gros. And in the final group of words, the R will precede the G sound. Répétez, s'il vous plaît. Org. Org. Cargo. Cargo. Bourgogne, Bourgogne, Fourgon, Fourgon. Très bien. Continuez votre bon travail et à la prochaine. Au revoir.